Okay, we need to know the order of operations. We need to know that we do our grouping symbols first, then we do any exponents or powers, then we do our multiplication in order from left to right, and then we do our addition and subtraction in order from left to right. We can do a couple of these steps at the same time. If multiplication is separated by an addition or a plus sign, we can take care of those at the same time. I'm gonna show you that I don't do everything painfully line after line. I will do operations at the same time when I can. So I'm going to show you when you can do those things. But this is one of the most important lessons for the entire school year for any math year. Definitely. Let's take a look. First problem, five minus six plus two times three. I always look inside the grouping symbols. Is there anything for me to simplify? There's not. These grouping symbols just mean multiplication. I don't have any exponents. Do I have multiplying and dividing? Yes, I have two times three. So I would do five minus six plus two times three is six. Then I'm done with my multiplying. I do addition and subtraction in order from left to right. So I must do my five minus six first. Five minus six is negative one. And then negative one plus six would get me positive five. Next one, four plus five times seven minus one plus eight divided by two. First thing I do is I look for my grouping symbols. Do I have something in my grouping symbols to simplify? Absolutely. So I would do four plus five and then in parentheses, seven minus one is six plus, now eight divided by two, I could do that right now because it's separated by a plus sign. Eight divided by two is four. If it was multiplied by this parentheses, then I wouldn't wanna do it right away, but you can always do things that are separated. Now I do my multiplying and dividing in order from left to right. So I need to do five times six. So this now becomes four plus five times six, which is 30 plus four. And then I just do my adding in order from left to right. Four plus 30 is 34. And then 34 plus four would get me 38. Awesome. Next two, negative nine times four plus two minus two times three plus four squared. Do I have anything in grouping symbols to take care of? Absolutely, four plus two is six. So now this becomes negative nine times six minus two times three. I can do that at the same time. Two times three is six, because again, it's separated by a minus sign, plus four squared. Four squared means four times four, and four times four is 16. The next thing I would take care of is the multiplication. Negative nine times six is negative 54. And then it's minus six plus 16. We do addition and subtraction in order from left to right. So negative 54 minus six would give us negative 60 minus 16 and negative 60, I'm sorry, plus 16. Negative 60 plus 16 would bring us negative 44. Next one has a lot going on. So when you have more than one set of grouping symbols, you need to work from the inside out. So I'm gonna work with the parentheses first and then I'm gonna make my way to the brackets. The brackets are the rectangular parentheses looking, they are parentheses, they're just in a different form so that you can tell the difference between what's really grouped together. So here, I can't do anything with seven minus two. I bring down my open bracket, negative six minus, I take care of what's in my first parenthesis. Three plus one is four, close bracket. Minus, I can take care of in this fraction, the numerator. 8 plus 7 is 15. Next, I still need to bring down 7 minus 2, open bracket. What's negative 6 minus 4? It's negative 10, close bracket, minus. I can do my division here. 15 divided by 3 is 5. I notice the last step before my subtraction is to do my multiplication. So now this is 7. This is negative 2 times negative 10. A negative times a negative is a positive. So that would then be plus 20, bring down the minus five. And again, we do our addition and subtraction in order from left to right. Seven plus 20 is 27. And then 27 minus five leaves us with 22. Awesome. Next two, 0.5 times negative eight minus four plus three times eight minus two squared. I'm gonna take care of what's in my grouping symbols first. So, 0.5 times negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12 plus 3 times. Now I can't do 8 minus 2 and then square it. I have to do my exponents first. In those parentheses, you actually have two operations happening. You have the subtraction and you have the exponent. What comes first in order of operations? The exponents. 
So I need to take care of two squared first. So this would be eight minus two squared is four. I can then do my multiplication here, or I could just simply bring it down if I wanted to just clean this up first. This would then be three times four. And now I can do my multiplication here. Half, which is 0.5, half of negative 12 is negative six. And then three times four is positive 12. Negative six plus 12, positive six. Next one, three minus five times two, minus seven times five squared minus four squared. Okay, I can bring down the three. I can take care of this negative five times two, which is negative 10. Bring down minus seven, but well, let's take care of these squares. Let's see, five squared means five times five, which is 25, minus four squared means four times four, which is 16. I'm then going to bring down my three minus 10 minus seven times, 25 minus 16 is nine. I notice I'm left with subtraction and multiplication. We have to do the multiplication part first. So three minus 10 minus 63. And then remember, we wanna add and subtract in order from left to right. Three minus 10 is negative seven, and negative seven minus 63 gets us negative 70. Last two problems. This skill in number seven is by far one of the most important order of operations problem in this whole set, including number eight. It has the same situation where you have multiplication and exponents happening together. We have to remember that exponents come before multiplying in the order of operations. So here, I am not doing two times three and then squaring that. What I have to do is I need to square this three first. So this is not two times three is six and then six squared. This is two times three squared. Three squared is nine minus. Now I could do the four times three is 12 and I bring down my plus one. Two times nine is 18. So now this is 18 minus 12 plus one. 18 minus 12 is six. Six plus one gets us seven. Now look how different this answer would have been if I didn't do it the right way. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 squared is 36. Notice there's no 36 anywhere here, and you would get a way different answer if you did that first. So don't do it. Ready for the next one? Here, 4 times 3 minus 5 cubed plus 5. I have to do what's in my grouping symbols first, so this is now 4 times negative 2 cubed plus 5. And please remember, you cannot do 4 times negative 2. You have to do your exponents first. I have to do two to the third, negative two to the third power. So negative two times negative two is positive four. Positive four times another negative two would be negative eight. So this is really saying four times negative eight plus five. Four times negative eight is negative 32, and negative 32 plus five is negative 27. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.